Big thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining me early on the Zoom. Big thank you to everybody joining me on Facebook Live. It's good to see you. Um, thank you to everybody who has joined me from day one to day 28. Today is day 28 of 40 days of praise with the praising child. And I'm using this opportunity to thank God, to praise him for his goodness and his mercy to me these past 40 years. And I'm doing my best to compress that 40 years into 40 days um, of a story, a short song or a long song and a sing along. And um, I'm inviting you to be part of this journey, part of making history. And I'm also telling you that be expectant and believe in God for great things for you. That the things that prayers could not shift from the beginning of the year, praise is going to shift it. And you're going to have a great testimony even before the new year. Okay. So today I'm going to talk about what happened before I went for youth service. I've spoken a lot about medical school, about house job yesterday. Um, so this is what we're going to talk about tomorrow. I'm going to talk about my youth service. Um, lots of stories in that one, um, but I'm going to try and compress it as much as I can. But there was this break between finishing house job and going for youth service. And I will keep the location of youth service a mystery till tomorrow. Um, but um, I decided that I needed to leave home because I was just at, at home eating, drinking, sleeping after house job. And there was a bit of a gap before going for service. I probably ended house job about June and I was going to go for service in October. Um, so I decided I'll travel to Lagos, stay with one of my uncles um, that had been very supportive um, and one that I am very fond of. And that from there, I would join one of my friends who was working at the time in Baptist Medical Center in Obanikoro. Uh, my friend's name is Tomi. She also happens to be my birthday mate, an amazing lady. Um, so she said I could come over. So my hope was that as I went to work with her every day, uh, keep refreshing my knowledge and we'll be able to discuss and do cases together and things like that. And it was quite a quiet place. It wasn't very busy. It was usually only her on duty as well. So long and short, I spent time in my uncle's house in Lawansin um, with grandma. Um, uh, grandma was there. So grandma was his mom and his wife was also there and his boys. Um, so anytime I went out and I came back, grandma had usually made food. My uncle's wife had usually made food. Um, and it was a bit difficult because there was so much pampering going on. Um, and I always had a nice time with my friend in Baptist Medical Center. Um, and I just felt the love of God. I felt really pampered and loved um, at that time. And my friend and I kept saying, she used to watch House a lot, Dr. House, um, a lot, the movies of Dr. House. And we would tease and say we would be diagnosticians when we left that stage. But yeah, we thank God for where we are today. So that's the story, very short story. So the song for today is I Have Known the Father's Care for Me. You are a skinhead. Hello. <laughs> the song for today is I Have Known the Father's Care for Me by Ron Canoli. And the sing along is Baba Eshe Ekui Tojumi. And I'll just translate that for those who are non English speakers. And it means, Father, thank you for taking care of me. If I didn't have you as my father, the storm or the battle, more, more precisely, the battle of life would have overcome me. And that's the sing-along for today. And that's my testimony. God has been gracious, very gracious. And I believe he's been really good to you. That's why you're able to pop in on the Zoom and praise God with me. Uh, before I sing the song, I'd like you to know about what my birthday wish is for this year. Um, I believe God has a special place in his heart for widows and orphans. And there's a scripture in the New Testament that says, this is true religion, taking care of widows and orphans in their distress. 
And over the years, sometimes my birthday, I may pop into an orphanage and things like that. But this year, I would like to give a token to those who are indigent, meaning poor, needy, unable to afford the basic necessities of life. And I'd like to give something to 40 widows, 40 orphans, and 40 rural ministers. And I've been getting different contacts from across the country. And I'm believing God that God will meet these people at the point of their needs. And even though they are called indigent this year, 2021, their testimony will be different by this time next year. Okay. So I'd like to encourage you to give generously. Um, gifts have started coming in for this project in Naira, in pounds. I'm still expecting dollars and yen, but whatever you can give, give cheerfully, give generously. God would be your rewarder. Okay. So now the song for today. I have known the Father's care for me. He's been good, God's been good. Through it all, he's always cared for me. God's been good to me. Through the storm, through the night, come what may. Everything will be all right. I have known the Father's care for me. God's been good to me. Through the storm, through the night, come what may, everything will be all right. I have known the Father's care for me. God's been good to me. Good, so good. God's been good to me. Good, so good. God's been good to me. And that's the song for today. I know God has been good to me. He has been good to you too. Um, especially when you decide to start counting your blessings, it would amaze you what God has done. Um, so let your soul bless the Lord and forget not all his benefits. God has been good to us. Okay, so the sing along is Baba Eshe Ekui Tojumi. Baba eshe kuita jumi, Jesu eshe kuita jumi, Iba mashe pe moni Jesu ni Baba, Iba mashe pe moni Jesu ni Baba, Ogun aye Iba bori mi. Baba eshe kuita jumi, Jesu eshe kuita jumi, Baba eshe pe moni Jesu ni Baba, Baba eshe pe moni Jesu ni Baba, Baba. Thank you, everybody, for joining me again today. The stories are still getting good. Join me for the remaining days. Feel free to invite somebody who you think should be here, who needs encouragement, who needs a smile on their faces. Feel free to invite them. I'm very grateful for your time, taking time with me today. And I hope to hear from you soon about the project. God bless you.